I'm Anne Marie Hoftailing, co founder of Story Imprinting, today with my partner, Holly Amaya. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about storytelling and PR. So, Holly, you come from a PR background, yeah. and we're always getting questions about how we approach storytelling differently than traditional PR firms, which is your background. So, can you talk a little bit about that for us today? Yeah, so I think um, coming from a PR background, you know, typically when you get a new client as a PR firm, you go in and you kind of do a deep dive and you put together a document, a message ladder that you then give to the people who work for that company and you say, okay, now go tell your story, right? Mm -hmm. But to me, this is missing kind of those, cr those crucial first few steps, actually figuring out what is the story this company wants to tell? What is their origin story? What is their vision for the future? To me, these are the most crucial stories that a company kind of has to wrap its mind around before it goes out and tries to tell that story to the world. Like everybody has to be kind of speaking the same language. Um, and that's why I think the work that we do is so foundational. It's really getting in there, figuring out what's the story, and then you push it out. Because in my opinion, that PR plan, um, the message ladder, it really is just a bunch of words on a piece of paper if you don't have story to kind of breathe life into it. And do you also think who is telling the story matters? Because in typical PR, it's really a small number of people who are having access to that document, is right. it not? Totally. Typically, in my experience, it's you know you have a couple of spokespeople, you're training those people on how to speak typically just to media, right? And we are taking this really holistic approach Everybody in your company is a storyteller, yeah. and they are telling Absolutely. your story, whether you like it or not. Absolutely. They're telling it to potential um, can't job candidates to come work with you. They're telling your customers. They're talking to each other, and so that's why it's really crucial to kind of have a grasp on what they're saying, how they're saying it. So what is the one thing you would say people should be rethinking about PR and storytelling moving forward for the modern age? I think they have to back it up and slow it down. I mean, I think that there's this rush because, you know, everybody has their phones, everybody's constantly like perusing Instagram and looking at content. We are hit with content from all sides, like all the time. Um, and I think in that rush to just produce content for the sake of producing content, the real story behind companies really gets lost. And so I, that's why, you know, the work that we do with clients kind of going in and mining their stories and honing them in a really specific way at the outset of any engagement, I think that's just crucial foundational work. Then you can go and do the rest of the PR and do the social and do all that other stuff. I love it. Well, Back it up and slow it down, y'all. That's it. That's our advice. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thank you.